Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hey what's up, my name is Tanya, and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video is finally the beauty room tour, much anticipated, highly requested video. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry to have kept you all waiting. I promise you guys it will be worthwhile. Kurt and I just spent the last like five hours trying to film this thing. It is literally midnight. I am exhausted. I, uh, he's exhausted trying to like figure out angles and like pulling out products and trying to get like lighting and everything was just so much more than I imagined. He said he knew that it would be this difficult. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. He's like, you have so much stuff. I knew it. I had no idea. I, we've literally been going at it for five hours. Five hours. Yeah, five. And then I started getting ready and doing it. Like I did a tutorial and then I did another mini video for testing out a foundation. Like I've been going at it for hours before the five hours even started. So the good news is I've actually done a full wear test on the Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate that I will leave a card up when that gets published because it is a beautiful foundation and this has been on my face for like 10 or 11 hours and it looks like really good for a drugstore foundation considering I have been sweating my butt off. This room is so hot because of all of the lights and then we had to have everything closed. Like I'm dying. Like I like, I'm dying of heat. Like I feel like I like I'm getting like I washed my hair today and I blow dried it and I feel like all of this is getting like greasy. <laughs> I'm, sweating. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm so dehydrated. Oh, and I need to go to bed. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video tour, my beauty room tour, my makeup room tour. I guess I, it's like it's both. I don't know. I've seen people call it both. It's it's both really. I guess I don't know. I guess it's more of a beauty room, but it's also the makeup room. So I don't really know what to call it. So it'll be called both, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, brace yourselves because you are in for a treat. I hope anyway that you see it that way. <laughs> and then I will get on to more requested videos. I promise. I actually worked on three requested videos today. A Natasha Denona green brown eyeshadow palette, the Fiona Styles foundation, and then the beauty room. So I did bang out three requested videos. So <laughs> tomorrow I have even more to do. But that, that, that is like good for today because you know it's midnight and I have to now edit this video for you guys. So uh, please uh, sit back, relax, grab a glass of wine, a latte if it's in the morning, whatever your choice of beverage is, and I hope that you enjoy it. So I will see you soon.
So this is where my boys chill out whenever I'm filming. Normally I do have the couch pulled out for them and then there's even more blankets piled on top. But for the sake of showing you guys the video, I wanted you to see how cutesy my little pink couch is. But they actually have these big fluffy pillows are all for them. And then all of my sequin ones just stay up against the wall. I actually purchased this really awesome lipstick like decor from Hope Look last July or August before I ever thought I was going to have like a crazy beauty room and then the beauty room just took off from there so this piece kind of started the whole thing and we just recently got the pink couch so that is what was putting us on hold for filming this video and then we had insane camera technical difficulties that majorly delayed it like whoa but this is like the puppy area of course I had to have something that was like white and crystally and that's also my chair and then they have extra dog beds because if they want to have like the whole separate space they just need their whole area <laughs> And this happens while filming all the time. <laughs> then as you can see, my little munchkin, Luby, is the biggest, like, world's biggest munchkin. He likes to get up on here, and he manages to get his way over here. Normally, I close the blinds, and then I have to close the curtain around the blinds, and then I have to pile clothing on there because he figures out how to get around it. I know, baby. And that's the other big mouth that you hear all the time. It's Eeyore and Luby. They're the worst. See? <laughs> but it is a really gorgeous view when it's daytime. It's just that they're always talking so much that I can never have it open. It always has to be closed. And then I love having like our photos and whoo, as I fall. I swear I haven't been drinking. And then pink and you know, purple and orange and all my favorite little flowers that I actually picked up from Neiman Marcus. These little curtains are from Amazon. These cutesy little things are from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then my little wall art is also from Amazon. So this first row is essentially a mini version of what my china cabinet was. Kurt hated having a china cabinet and I loved my chi china cabinet so I just met him in the middle and moved some of my china in here and we got rid of the china cabinet itself. So these are all of my Swarovski crystal pieces that I picked up that are my favorite because I mean they're wine glasses and champagne glasses and martini glasses so of course they're my favorite. And then these little figures, those three women, are actually really special to me because my mom has bought me those over the years. So that's why those are in here. And then ones like these are just little collector items that I have picked up on trips. Like this one came from St. Lucia. Then this row is like a combination of things. These three little guys are actually from Dina. This bin is a jam-packed, like filled to the brim bin of all of the powders that I have put to the test for you guys so far, minus today's. I didn't have a chance to add in today's setting powder yet, but these are all of the ones that have been tested. That corner, there's also a second pile behind that pile, are all the ones that I still have to put to the test for you guys. So when I keep telling you that this setting powder battle video is going to be the battle video of all battle videos on YouTube, I kid you not. I have purchased so many freaking setting powders, it is out of control. And then I keep this little mini corner for lipsticks that are like the little mini guys that you get for freebies or little add-ons because these are great to throw in clutches when you have special events to go to, like weddings, graduations, concerts, whatever it is, and you carry a little, little clutch and you're trying to make the most room in your clutch, then at least I have little guys to throw in. And then I just finish it off with having at least one palette up here to go with this row. Then this row is one of the many rows of all of my palettes, which you guys have seen 
most of. I have recorded a part three that has not been put up yet, so palettes like these ones you guys have not seen yet, but part three will be released shortly, I promise. So this is just like filled to the brim palettes. So I have like these kind of containers for a lot of my palettes. It's just what I find the easiest way to store them. I get these off Amazon. I literally type in palette organizers and then you get so many options. These ones you can also stand up and it will hold your palettes for you like that. But I prefer to see my palettes this way. So that's how I store mine. And then like the Kat Von D metal matte palette does fit in a container, but I love having it on display like that in between the two vanity storage or organizers because I think it just looks so cool. And then I had to have two pieces from the Mariah Carey collection because I mean, it's Mariah Carey, it's MAC, it's glittery, it's sparkly, it's like just perfection. So this is here solely for display purposes. And then I also have my other Urban Decay palette back here. This one's a pain in the butt. It's the Urban Spectrum palette, but it opens up like this and there's no like flipping it open or anything. So this one's harder to store, but at least, you know, I'm aware and I don't forget that it opens like that. So this one I just keep on a flat surface and it goes with my Urban Decay Spectrum that is a row up. So at least there is consistency that way because I do have OCD. And then the other row is just family photos, our wedding, best friends, my parents. So it's just nice to have like a little bit of memories in here. Now these little drawers, I for, always forget that it opens up like this. You guys don't actually get to see what's like fully in here, but this is where I start, I mean not the top, that's just like, I don't know, storage. But this is where I start keeping like all of my deluxe samples for giveaways, so you can't actually see what's in the bags. But that's how I start separating makeup from skincare, hair care, and perfumes. So this is like the giveaway, one of the giveaway drawers. But that's all you get to see in that one. All right, the first drawer in the big armoire. And I will list the contact information for where I bought this from because I know so many people have been asking where did I get all of the furniture from. So I will list it below. But this is, it's like, antique furniture so it's a little bit like hard to pull out these are all of my mascaras yes i have a mascara problem and then my backup of my becca jacqueline hill palette because it was limited edition and then just like random extra things that i've thrown in here but it's mainly for mascara and i got got this off of amazon as well now this is another kind of a organizer that I picked up from Amazon which is just another kind of handy one because you have these different compartments so it just kind of depends on what your needs are as far as organization goes and I love all of my different organizers so I like to keep my hot pink ones out front for obvious reasons and then I just think that it's fun keeping the wet and wild beauty book right here on display because it is so freaking awesome you guys saw this I believe in part one, it may have been part two, but let me show you just in case, because this is wild. Look at that. And it came with two pencils and a brush. So this baby, I have not actually had a chance to put to the test yet, but it is so cool. So she stays on display. And then when I am doing my makeup, <laughs> which like never happens now for not filming. This is my actual vanity. So I have my little hairbrush. Woo! <laughs> this, my mom bought me this little shoe. So I keep my hairbrush in here and a bunch of dry shampoo just fell from that. That was not dandruff, I swear. And then this opens up and it is the best mirror ever to get like right up in there and it gets every angle. You have daylight, office light, evening, and home. But daylight's the best one for doing your makeup. So this is 
freaking sweet and it even has a little plug so if you're doing your hair you have that as well and I even found this guy on Amazon now this is my like actual vanity not where I do my filming and these lights turn on like nice and bright so you can do your makeup in here as well because when I am doing my makeup I actually really enjoy having like my baby one that I just showed you guys to flip out for like close-ups I will pull this right out get right up in here to do my makeup and then take a look and glance back because it's always really great to be able to like get close up to do your makeup but then you want to also like look at yourself and see like the whole picture so that's why I love this setup when I'm not filming it's just that every day has turned into a tutorial so it's really sad because I don't really use this anymore it's just really beautiful to look at and I found these gorgeous lips on Amazon and then the furniture actually did not come with any of these crystal knobs I found these on Amazon too and the crystal knobs are so hard to find because they're usually like that stereotypical bathroom crystal which is like super dulled down and I mean I needed sparkle so I found these and then Kurt put Kurt put Kurt put all of the crystal knobs on all of the furniture and I think there must be like 50 knobs in here on the furniture for me because I needed some bling in this room so I mean obviously oh and somebody asked me where I got my mirror from and all of these pieces are from the same seller and so I mean I'm gonna get to this too but like this mirror is awesome because you have, this is what I use when I'm filming. I never use the magnifying side, but I use the normal side. And then she sells this piece, this piece. I have a calculator, a matching, oh my God, Kleenex holder, matching card holders. Like we'll get to that side, but I will leave the link below in this description bar as well. It's from Amazon, it's one seller. It is a little bit more pricey, but the mirror, for instance, that the girl was asking about, it says that it's small, but look at this. It's not small. So when you see that it says small, don't worry. It does not come small. I can't even imagine what size large is because large has been like not an option since I purchased this last year. She's only ever had small in stock and you can see she's not a baby. Then, of course, Natasha Denona, the big boy palettes, are on display right here. I have the star palette on display when we get further down the line, but I keep my nice big ones here. And then I just keep this here. It came with a Ciate palette, but I think it is so cute because it says eat, sleep, makeup, repeat. And that's my life. So <laughs> even though that's something that you would like so throw away and it's like not really a big deal, I love it and thought it was so cute so I leave it there. And then this just has like random colors that I don't really use for eyeliners and even more mascaras. But the majority of my eyeliners are on my filming station and I'm going to have to zoom you guys in so you can actually see everything in these drawers. But uh, this is a beauty blender I don't use. I just liked how cute this was for a little container and wanted it on display. Uh, same with these tweezers. I don't use them. Uh, they were hella expensive, but I mean, I needed the pink bling to go with the room. And I never, and I mean never, curl my lashes, but when Tarte released these, I mean they're pink and purple and bling. <laughs> I had to get it just to have it on display. So that's why those are there, despite the fact that I don't grow my lashes. <laughs> and then last but not least, I even have this little crystal holder. I usually have a little trash bag. I keep this one on my filming vanity. Uh, I just took out the trash because you guys don't need to see all my makeup removing wipes from all the swatches that I do. But I even needed a little bling for my trash holder. This is a trash can, but now that I'm not here filming, I mean doing my own makeup, I had this for my trash. But now that I'm doing like huge quantities of swatching, I go through like a minimum of three to five makeup wipes each tutorial. So my makeup or my 
garbage bag fills up so quickly that I actually need a bag. This doesn't do it for me anymore. Before, I just needed it for Q-tips, really. So I had to get a little bling one, you know? The whole room is bling. So this is actually a Cosmo Cube, and I have three of these size Cosmo Cubes, and then I have one of their luxury Cosmo Cubes. These are super expensive, but Cosmo Cube has like two sales a year where they sell them for 50% off, and that's when I try to buy them. I really want to get one more, but this one sells for $225, and the luxury one sells for like $300. They're so expensive. And then they have a lot of random sales where it's like 20% off or $50 off, but they're so beautiful and blingy. So they're worth getting. They really are. You can see the beauty, but just sign up to Cosmo Cube so that way you know when the 50% sale happens and I noticed that they happen in October for Halloween I don't understand why and then also for Black Friday that was the pattern last year fun fact so the first drawer is my favorite drawer <laughs> this is my lit cosmetics drawer so this is the majority of all of my lit glitters and then my mini glues. My large glue is on my main filming table and then I have a couple more glitters that didn't fit in this drawer. I told you I have a lit glitter obsession because they're just so beautiful, like just out of this world. So that's the first drawer. Now the second drawer is a little bit of a mixture. I got all of these Naked Cosmetic, like, they're pigments, but they're like dual chrome pigments, and some of them are just like sparkles, some are solid, they're like all over the place, but I got all of these at iMats last September, and that's how I found out about the company, and I fell in love with them, I need to work with them some more, but the amount of palettes I have, I haven't had a chance to really like get into them, and then I keep my Makeup Geek pigments in here as well, and I haven't had a chance to really get into, well these are their sparklers, I think. Yeah, Makeup Geek Sparklers. And then these are just some random nicks that are wrapped and not used that I got on like a crazy deal of a steal, but they're my main colors. So I just throw them in here for my backups, but my main stash is on my filming center. My third drawer <laughs> has my remaining couple of lit glitters that did not fit in the top one. Then my second favorite company is OCC Glitters. So there's the OCC. I have a few Makeup Forever, uh, two Makeup Forever, I guess. You can tell that OCC is my next favorite. I have some eye candy that I've actually never used yet. It came in a kit that I got at eye mats as well. And I really do want to use it. I have more OCC over here. So I do, I'm like, I'm, I love OCC. Then, these little Sigma ones are just little freebies. I have a strobe one. Look how fun that baby is. And then I have these little Tarte pots for like liquid eyeliner. Well, cream eyeliner, I guess. I don't know. I bought them and I'm not really into that. I bought brushes for them and now I just like my liquid eyeliner so much more than working with a brush. So I've realized that that isn't really for me, but I don't know, I'm always mixing and matching so much makeup that I'm sure I'll get back into those, but the rest of them, I love all of those so dearly. Then the last drawer, see the Cosmo Cube has the last drawer as like a big boy drawer, so you can fit taller products. I have all of my little ColourPop, I think, what did they call them, Super Shock Shadows? Super Shock Shadows. So I keep my ColourPop in here, my Violet Boss, some LA Girl, and then uh, Tarina Tarantino is like discontinued. I can't find it anywhere anymore. And these glitters are so stunning. You can't even tell. Like these are so gorgeous. I wore this on my wedding day like my elopement day with Kurt, not Wedding 2.0, and I'm so in love with the sparkle. It's just, 
I'm so sad that they discontinued it, so I barely use it now because it's so sentimental that I used it on our wedding day. And Sephora used to carry this brand, and it's just gone now. And then you guys saw my recent Tarte video with their Spellbound Sprinkler, so I added it in here. I'm actually not a fan of MAC pigments. I've given it a shot a couple of times, but it just doesn't bring it for me the way the big YouTubers love their pigments, so I have only one. I love a lot of MAC products, but not MAC pigments. And then this is just like a jelly MAC thing, so that's just random. So I haven't actually put Violet Voss's glitter glue to the test yet. I still have to do that. And then I just have a random MAC eyeshadow. I don't know how that ended up in here because that doesn't that's not its home, but it somehow ended up in there. This drawer, I'm not gonna show you guys because this is going to be part of the next haul video. It is full of new goodies, so you don't get to actually see it all. And then this one is actually where I just keep all of my receipts because you never know what needs to be returned. So it's kind of a drunk drawer, but it's not really because I've had to make a lot of returns to Sephora. So this one's not a fun drawer. This is a fun drawer, and then the giveaway drawers uh, are fun drawers. Alright, this is the middle drawer. This is just kind of where I keep a lot of my backup things to what I already have. Like, I have a backup of my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, which after testing out the Fiona Styles Foundation today, I won't be buying this one anymore. And then, like, Lip Tars are my favorite liquid lipsticks. Kind of mixed with Huda Beauty. So I keep a backup of some of my favorite shades. A uh, backup of my favorite OCC Pink Glitter. I have backups of my favorite Lime Crime Diamond Crushers, my favorite Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star in Dreamhouse because this one was limited edition, Urban Decay Lip Gloss, Cap on D Liners, like Cover Effects stuff. This is just kind of my backup drawer. And then I have like some really cute BB cosmetic bags that I've received, so I keep those in here. So this is kind of like the backup drawer. Then the next drawer, ugh. see Sephora had a crazy, like wicked sale on their wipes. These are amazing to just do a quick cleanse of your brushes. Your brushes are damp, so you can't immediately go back in, which is why my new obsession is their dry clean spray, because you literally can, you spray your brush, wipe it on paper towel, and you can go right back in and use it on your face. These ones are just a great quick clean when you can't do a deep clean on your brushes. So that's why I have all of this stocked up because they normally sell for 14 and for a limited time they had them on sale for seven so I bought them all when they were on sale for seven dollars and then this is my drawer of testers for products that I need to put to the test that I just haven't had a chance to test out yet so like I'm dying to try the Josie Marin foundation the all-nighter foundation Tart, so I just keep what I want to test out and let you guys know if it's good or not in this drawer and then back up q-tips headbands for like mask videos or what I need to just pull my hair back for whatever so that's what this drawer is all about now this is a fun drawer because this is the uh, Kurt and me drawer oh my god <laughs> for doing masks so you guys can see oh my gosh that we have a ridiculous pile of masks to put to the test. Like, look at this hot chocolate self-heating clay mask. Doesn't that sound so delicious? And then we have these animal mask pack I just picked up. I picked up this other bunch of animal mask pack. So we have a lot of animal mask, pa mask packs to put to the test. And I would like to bring the girls in on some of these ones. We have some great gold magic mask luxury masks to put to the test and see if they're any good. We bought, Kurt found these ones, some poor strip crazy blackhead remover ones to try out. And then I showed you guys these ones in a haul that I was going to give Kurt the 
exfoliate and refine pores to put to the test and I was going to do the de detox and brighten to put to the test from L'Oreal because I've never actually tried any kind of masks from L'Oreal. And then I also have some anti-wrinkle, some soothing and goodies from BioBell. This is like a whole bunch of like almond oil, blueberries, wild rose, avocado, collagen, red wine. There's like a lot of deliciousness in here. This one looks so awesome. It's actually a lace mask. So I can't wait to try this one. So this is like, we have a lot of masks ahead of us. And I didn't see his butt in here and doing some masks. Now the next top drawer. <laughs> Now these ones are actual individual little guys that I got off of Amazon. So this is like a bunch of colorful little guys. I don't know why I don't just keep all of these on hand actually on my filming desk. I probably should. Yeah, that would be a better idea. And then all of my blacks and browns are in here. And just like your chubby pen eye pencil sticks. This is just like random. It irritates my eyes. I need to just throw it out. I don't know why I even keep it. This is the same thing. It's just like random eye pencil things. This one too. This one too. And then this is part of the bunch of the liquid liners that I have already tested out for you guys and there's another half of these on the drawer or on the desk that I film that's like another epic battle video that is going to happen and then this is another spray that Sephora came out with but I like their dry clean spray much more so this is just now in storage in this drawer, oh, I'm getting a workout in opening all these drawers up for you guys. Um, I have things that I don't really use anymore. Like I love this Guerlain primer, which was so ridiculously expensive, but it did not do any lifting benefits that it promised. It just gives a really great tackiness. So your foundation will last all day, but when I'm filming for you guys, I generally just go wash my face right when I'm done filming. So I leave it over here because this will be more if I'm traveling and going to be actually wearing my makeup for longer than two hours. So that's not the case right now. So she stays over here. Um, I've kind of put to bed my Milani foundation because it is just too heavy and I have found too many other alternatives so I have it here because it's, it's still good it hasn't expired and it's a full bottle the Becca backlight priming filter I like this in the summer and it's just been stored here because it's been you know fall winter spring so she's still a good baby I have another Milani one because I was loving the Milani random headband I have so many of these baby Makeup Forever HD that I got from Sephora and I have to put these to the test, like a good test. I tried them a couple of times and wasn't like crazy impressed, but I do have to like actually give them their shot because they haven't had a, like, a legit shot. I don't know why there is an empty packet of my Colored Rain lashes, I don't. Uh, this is the original All Nighter Long Lasting Spray that is definitely expired by now. There's no way that it's not. I need to toss this. This should be part, like a part of a declutter video. Then I have the Beauty Blender spatula mixing thing. So if I have to mix stuff, I can. I keep all of my backup brushes in here because god forbid I run out of any of my favorites like I am that crazy that I have two backup Morphe foundation brushes two of the backup Morphe uh, brushes that I like for getting in there with glitter on the inner corner and the outer corner a backup concealer brush I have 
back up fluffy crease brushes from Carity, two of them because I'm so in love with it. A backup highlighting brush, which now I actually love Anastasia's A23 more than the Morphe one, but the Morphe one is still good. I have my favorite blush brush in the whole world from Morphe, the E4, so I've got that on backup. And this Sigma one I bought because of a YouTuber saying that it was the best wing liner ever. And I that's why I bought all of those Tarte because when I was starting to do wing liners, because wing liners are new to me. Like five months ago, I wasn't doing wing liners. I was told by, well, I wasn't told, but I was watching videos on how to do wing liners and so many people love doing it with potted gel formulas and a brush. And I don't like that method. So I had bought two of them, so I had one on backup. And I'll probably use this in a giveaway for somebody who likes using wing liners that way. And then I always keep a backup of my Morphe Collagen uh, Makeup Removing Wipes on hand because I am obsessed with these. Like, you have no idea. There's another random makeup bag in there. This just came with something. I have no idea. It is a tool to clean something with. It's not actually a makeup brush, and I really don't know what it is. Then in the very back of this drawer are things that I don't like on myself, but they're opened products like um, that gal brightening face primer from Benefit doesn't work for me. The professional does not work for me. This is Glow Time by Jane Irondale does not work for me. So this is like stuff that I opened but it doesn't work so I don't know I guess leave your comments if you guys ever want products for me that I have opened and don't like including like palettes or anything and you would just like to take them because I would rather send them off than throw them in the garbage <laughs> so let me know if not I mean that's totally cool and I get it and then I have a little like Too Faced Hangover, which is an awesome primer, great for the summer as well. I have a random La Prairie powder puff in here. I just, just random things, but it's organized. Like, you know, I have another container that I got off of Amazon, so like I know where all my stuff is. And this is another one you guys don't get to see because this is where I store all of the cosmetic bags for giveaways, so you guys can't have a sneak peek at what you might be possibly receiving in the next giveaway, which is quickly approaching because my next giveaway is when I hit a thousand subscribers and you guys have been amazing and my numbers are so quickly rising that these babies are going to be going out sooner rather than later, so no, no sneak peeks. If I was at like 600, I might show you a sneak peek, but I think a thousand is around the corner, so that's why you guys don't get to see anything. I will let you know that the grand prize winner for reaching a thousand is getting an epic palette. That's all I'm gonna say though. This is the luxury Cosmo Cube that does not come with a lid on the top. Like the other ones actually have a lid on the top. This one's just open, so it is a bit of a different layout. It's a lot taller, so it is a, a difference in them as well. So here is where I keep my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners and my Touch in Sol, oh my gosh, Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. And then this is just a little keepsake uh, from my, it's actually one of my favorite countries, Estonia, that I got to visit on a cruise and I just keep it in here because it's pink, it's blingy, and I love Estonia so much. And then this is just a whole bunch of backups of like so many of my favorite things. So I love the Becca Resurfacing Primer. Sometimes I reach for this. This is a backup of Custom Effects Drops in Sunlight. <laughs> This e.l.f. I am not a fan of, but I can't return it. It just didn't really work for me. It's a liquid highlight. 
This I love. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I have so many Becca products, that's why I have to do a dedicated uh, Becca video. This Shimmering Skin Perfector again, because I received a couple. Oh my gosh. I have like two backups of the Tarte Shape Tape because at one point they were constantly selling out of it. So when they were in stock, I just bought three at once. Then the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy is my like ultimate favorite color, so I have a backup. Then the Dr. Jarnt Pores No More was actually my favorite until I discovered the number seven pore primer, and I like that one more, which is unfortunate because I have this one and I have a backup somewhere. I have the Hourglass uh, veil, Mineral Primer Veil, which is really great. There's so much, you guys. The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and now I have like three other Luminous Dewy Skin Mists that I love so much, but that's my backup. Tom Ford, this is my like second backup. I I have like three of them on the go, well one on the go, two backups. Oh my gosh, I've got like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have a backup of my uh, Color Corrector by Urban Decay Naked Skin. A backup of my RCMA powder. A backup of Too Faced Glitter Glue. More Naked Skin. I mean, this is just like a backup galore. <laughs> Then this drawer just has like a couple extra powders which have not been opened so I will give them as giveaways because I actually ended up purchasing the full size without realizing I had the baby ones. But then here's my makeup addiction pigment sparkles that I am like obsessed with. I put to the test this baby and I am dying to try out the other ones so these are going to be happening in a video shortly. This Dior powder is the most beautiful powder to like dust on your shoulders, on your chest. It has like the perfect shimmer. It is so pretty. I love this in the summer. It is just called Dior Skin Loose Powder 431 Gold Dust. And it is amazing. I've had it forever. It really goes a long way. And then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact number two is an amazing setting powder. So I do have a backup of this one because it is really good. But that's all I have in this drawer, which is shocking, I know. But this drawer is like filled to the brim. This one is like highlight galore. I've got some Makeup Revolution. Ofra, Milani, Jouer, oh my god, Anastasia, Colourpop, this one is like crazy, I haven't even tried this one yet, this is like just a whole other level of craziness, but it's cream too, so I haven't even tried it. Laura Mercier. That one had some love. I've moved on from her though. This one I haven't had a chance to try yet, but this looks beautiful. This one's from Lancome. I received it in like a Sephora favorites box. Then I have a few of the baby hourglass, which are like just so pretty. Another hourglass. That one's dim light. The other one was incandescent strobe light. Then I just received this blush and glow. So I do have a couple blushes mixed in here. When they need a home, they need a home. What's this one? See, I don't even know what some of these are. I've had them for so long. This one hasn't been touched. The rosy glow from Too Faced. Then I just have a couple like liquid highlights in here, like the one where uh, Makeup Forever was pretending to be a liquid highlight, but it's not a liquid highlight. It's just only good for the eyes, but it is beautiful on the eyes. And then my gift from Dina's in here. 
which I can't get at without, there we go. There's the one from Dina, one of the gifts from Dina. I don't use these at all anymore. They're the benefit what's up because I just have other highlights that I like so much more. But this is what started my highlight game and this is how I fell in love with highlighting was through Benefit. I just don't like it anymore because I like other products so much more. This I haven't had a chance to try yet. I should actually just put it on my filming vanity. This one is the Cover FX like stick in Bubbly. And then I have two Physicians Formula. I got these ones on a crazy steal of a deal from Ulta and I'm dying to actually try these and they need to just go on my filming station too or they will never get tried out. I got these for like seven bucks and look how cute these are. Ah, I need to highlight with them like ASAP. I need to just grab it the next time I go to film. Hey, <laughs> you guys ready for this drawer? Becca Galore. So these are the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Splits. We have, oh my goodness, Champagne Pop and Flower Child. And these are limited edition and I think there's still some available. Okay, there's a mixture. This one's just Becca. This one was limited edition too. This is her Rose Quartz. I don't know if this one's still available, but it is stunning. Then this is Becca's Opal. This is beautiful, like gorgeous. My highlight collection is ridiculous, you guys. I will do a whole like collection on my highlights, but just rose gold this is one of my favorite highlights like i am obsessed with this rose gold because it is just it's a beautiful everyday highlight this one is actually a like glow from within type of highlight it's beautiful topaz like i just i mean amazing oh my gosh Oh, then this is the cream champagne pop. This one I got in the Sephora kit. It is a baby version of her Moonstone. And then another part of my gift from Dina, the Laura Mercier in Gilded Honey. I love this one too. It is so gorgeous. Then I have the Becca, oh my gosh, what is it? Blushed with Light Blush Trio. This is stunning. It was limited edition, and I don't think this one is available anymore, but it is such an amazing blush trio. I won't get into all of these because we will be here forever, but I mean, my favorite Benefit Hula Bronzer, some more Hourglass, oh my gosh. All oh, these are the Nabla blushes. <laughs> They're magnet. If you guys watched any of my Nabla videos, these are so out of this world. I'm in love with this company. They stand for like animal rights, like no other. A lot of these are like doubled up. I've got some NARS, Super Orgasm, Buxom. Oh my gosh, there's like Tartan here. This is like BAM pink. There's like next to no occasion to wear this one, but I don't remember how I got that. I somehow did. I have a Chanel blush that I like never use either, which is a shame, but I just don't. This is another Becca product I haven't even had a chance to try. It is the Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle. And it looks so pretty. And now that it's spring and summer is coming up, I have to give it a try. I bought it last summer and I still haven't tried it. So I do have to try it. And this purchase is because of Jaclyn Hill. And I tried it once and I wasn't a huge fan. So I have to give it another go. It's the Makeup Forever. Oh my gosh, it's the number four. What is it? Shine On Powder. And she was like loving putting this all over her face, but it like emphasizes everything. So I have no idea. But Jacqueline Hill is also 
like five years younger than me so I'm sure that makes a big difference <laughs> but that's why that's like back there now this is like the goodie bronzer drawer for the main part oh my god I can actually smell the physician's formula butter bronzer from this drawer just opening the drawer and now I want to go somewhere tropical so obviously I have that bronzer and I also have their bronze booster this I keep for sentimental purposes. It is this broken, but it was from my very first trip to Hawaii with my parents and it was like the best bronzer ever that I had found and it is totally shattered. It is so broken. It is completely like it opens on this end, but like I can't get rid of it because it was my first trip to Hawaii oh my gosh, like 10 or 11 years ago, and I just keep it for purposes, just sentimental reasons. This, I wanted to see and give a test to Ulta products. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I want to try out Ulta Beauty itself because I order from Ulta, so I haven't tried her yet, but she's in here. The Josie Marin, uh, Oh my gosh, Argan Illuminator is beautiful. I love this. It is really nice. You can mix it with your foundation. Gorgeous glow. It is perfect for the summer, like staple for the summer. These are like all bronzers, but these ones are like doubled up because I have like, I need to throw this one out. I've so hit pan on this Dior bronzer. It is not even funny. I really need to just toss it and then I have like this kind of duo, but it's broken. Like, I don't know what my deal is, why I keep things like this, but I just do. Probably because I paid so much damn money, but I don't even know how it broke, but it did. I have this little fun wheel from Smashbox that I haven't used in ages. So I have to pull this baby back out again because I remember loving this so much. I just haven't used her in a long, long time. Then I have the Kevin Ocon bronzer. It's a little bit too dark for me. I have to use this when I'm like super tanned after a vacation, but now I don't tan anymore. So this was amazing for me when I was like a sun tanning goddess. This would match me. But now that I self tan, this doesn't match me anymore. So it's really sad because this is really expensive and I don't get to that shade anymore. MAC Give Me Sun. Oh my gosh, I love this. I will always love this. This matches me all the time. And then I have like some Tarte bronzers. This is awesome. And some Too Faced bronzers. So that does it for this Cosmo Cube. Now this is my hashtag N NM Beauty shopping bag. That's that name and Marcus palette. You guys have seen me use this and it's been the palette videos and all that so I won't open it up. This is just a paperweight but it's pink and it's a huge ass crystal so I just have to have it in here. And then this is a Chanel box that I keep back here because I received a Chanel watch for my law school graduation so that is extremely sentimental. I could not throw the box out and then I just love Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. And then my hubby bought me this Mon Paris by YSL for my graduation as one of my gifts and it's one of my favorite perfumes so I had to keep this on display in here as well because as you guys are seeing a the theme I'm very sentimental and I like to keep things that way. Now this bow is here because if you guys watched my hitting 500 subscribers gift unboxing from Kurt. This bow was on there and since it's not like I'm gonna keep the shoes on display because I'm gonna wear the shoes, I had to keep something in the beauty room that was sentimental to that moment because the whole reason to getting the shoes was because of my YouTube channel, which is because of the beauty room and you know the whole shebang, the whole story. And this bow was attached to the gift, so I had to put the bow up in here because it just meant so much to me. So that's why this is stuck on here. 
Now this baby I have shoved back here because this one came from my mom and dad for my law school graduation. It was in a flower bouquet and flowers die and I didn't catch them in time to hang them upside down and dry them out. But this is so beautiful and it's pink, it's sparkly, it's white satin, it matches in here, it's perfect. So I have this as a like memory from my parents beautiful bouquet which I also have photos of but at least I have something like solid and a great memory so every time I'm in here and I see that I think of my law school graduation and that moment and my parents and just how proud they were and that whole day so it just gives me all of those memories come flushing back and it's amazing and I feel like I'm going to tear up so I'm going to stop talking about it and we're going to get back to makeup. This top row is a combination. It's mainly cards that I have received from my very loving fawns and I cannot throw any card away from like somebody that really matters to me. So if it's like Kurt, my parents, or you guys, I keep them. So my loving fawns stay in here. Kurt has like a special collage book that I have to put together. I have the book, I have all his cards, they just have to go together. And then my parents have a little cubby holder thing that I keep them all in. And then this is just my massive Sephora train case for my makeup to travel back and forth like when it's just a road trip. So it just stays on display up here. So I love looking at this. It just reminds me of how wonderful my community is and how much I love you guys. Then and these are two other pieces that came from my crystal or china cabinet. This one came from Copenhagen and this one came from, I can't remember if it was Finland because I'm looking at the matching flower beneath it and that one came from London, England. So I can't remember, I think this one was actually from Finland. And then I have an amazing seller on eBay that does a lot of custom work for me for crystals. So that iPad case came from her. But then these card holders are from that same seller that I mentioned that did, that I bought from Amazon, all of the other crystal items that I told you guys about earlier that I will list below. Here is the third Cosmo Cube. So I guess here's first the, obviously, my beautiful Kleenex holder. And then my so unnecessary calculator. Guys, it's like 10, 11 p.m. I'm so tired. I'm getting like lost for words. And then I have one more card holder down here. Again, all by the same seller on Amazon. And then I keep my melt stacks down here as well. And then this is the beautiful flower that I was mentioning earlier that I got in England. Wow, that just happened. A petal just broke. We need to glue that back on. Go England. Or Swarovski. I don't know which one. <laughs> All right, on to the makeup because that's what's going to not break. <laughs> so this drawer is filled with eyeshadows. I just have like random. I mean, there's Sephora, there's Dior, there's Armani, Chanel, Stila, Urban Decay. It's just like random ass eyeshadows <laughs> that I used to love and use all the time. Oh, there's even NYX. I just don't reach for these anymore because you guys have made me develop an insane eyeshadow palette addiction and I blame you. Then my second drawer has all of my Dose of Colors Ideal Duos in them and I love these babies so much. With, oh, they're just, they're awesome. So I have all those shades. I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you guys want a video where I just do them. I, you know what? I'll just do a small dedicated video on swatching all of them so you guys can see every color in action in one little video. I have the Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black. Again, this is because of Jaclyn Hill and I never use it. I have random concealers that I also don't use anymore. The It Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. And 
I have NYX Glitter Primer, which is good, but I always reach for Too Faced or my Lit Cosmetics. Then, oh my gosh, these Z palettes are my favorite favorite. I mean, look at the gold, the glitter. They are so amazing. This palette has my Cosette, Cosette, Cosette. I'm not sure you pronounce it, eyeshadows in it. However, I do have one other shade that I need to put in here that I haven't yet. And then the other palette has my glitter injections, eyeshadow, or pressed glitters in them. So that's in this drawer. Now this drawer is very random. I am in love with the Chanel De Soleil, I think it is. Uh, Chanel 10 De Soleil, no, where is it? Soleil 10 de Chanel. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing, like, creamy bronzer but I have purchased a couple more because I'm also going to battle out the cream bronzers for you guys so those are coming your way and then I just recently hauled the Catrice eyeshadows so I have not had a chance to actually put the Catrice eyeshadows to use and then all of these beauty black tops are the Inglot pigments and these are to die for they are like the best pigments NYX makes bomb pigments that are like the closest dupes to the Inglot pigments that I have ever come across, but Inglot is just freaking amazing. But if you don't want to pay Inglot prices, you can get away with NYX, but Inglot is really, really special. So this is just a really a wonderful drawer. Then this last drawer, oh my goodness. All right, I have all three of Milani's, well, she calls them face and eye stroh palette because you can use each individual shade for an eyeshadow. You can mix them all together and swirl them around. Wow, this drawer is heavy. Uh, swirl them around for um, highlights. So I do have all three of her shades in this drawer. They are just stunning. I have Random Physicians Formula Blush, a Too Faced Blush, because, you know, it's a heart and it's pink and it's pretty, so it's in here. Then Flower Beauty Blush, Milani Blush, the Flower Beauty Bronzer and Blush Duo, a Kat Von D Blush, Wet n Wild Highlighter, this is like the everything. Dose of Color, Gold is the New Black Highlighter. A Dior Eyeshadow, there's more Dior Eyeshadows. These are like all random pigments from Naveen Dominic, I think it is. I picked them up at iMats. Again, something more that I have to get into. And then I have Jordan as well, and I haven't even had a chance to play with it. And then I have some random oils, just in case I need some oils on hand. But I always reach for my Farsali 24 karat gold elixir, whatever it is, when I need a beauty oil now instead. So I don't even really use these oils, but they are here just in case. Now, this is another organizer that I got off of Amazon, and it is the same one that you guys saw earlier where it has the little extra holes and then the main palette containers. So these are all my lip liners. That is one random little palette. And of course, my Natasha Denona Star palette is on display right here. And then as we move over here, these brushes, I literally blot, brought, oh my God, bought third times charm <laughs> just for display purposes because look how pretty they are i mean it really morphe released these limited edition crystal ones and i mean how could i not have these in my makeup room like seriously i could i couldn't help it and then sephora released pink glitter ones like how cute is that and then they went on sale so when they went on sale i snatched them up and then this beauty mug I got off of Zazzle, and I thought this was the like most bomb ass mug ever. So I bought one to actually drink out of and one to just hold a surplus of brushes because I have so many. 
Then I keep my Natasha Denona lipsticks on display. Then I have a ridiculous collection of foundations. I've got like Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, Chanel Vita Lumiere. Oh my gosh. Moisture Rich Radiance. I have their Vita Lumiere Aqua. And then I've got a shit ton of Dior Air Flash and their uh, Dior Bronze. Oh, whoop, spray. I'm getting tired. These guys, I am totally blanking on the store that I bought them from, but I will try to find out and then link it below. And I think this is so fun because it spins around so you can have like quick access to your lipsticks. And it has bling all around it. And I got these on sale. So it is awesome. And of course, my favorite lipsticks, aside from Natasha Denona, are the Urban Decay Vice. I mean, I also love a couple other, like the NARS is amazing. So there's a few in there. Then I just have more spare brushes back there because I have a problem. I have my YSL on display because it's so good. This I bought literally to just have on display in here because it's glitter gold and everything bold and it's just perfection. So how could I not? I mean, obviously. And then two just random lipsticks that didn't fit anywhere sit here. And then here, this was a gift I received from another loving fawn. And this is a gift I received from Kurt. It's a little lipstick. So I thought that this was perfect to go together on here. Then this is a part of my ridiculous lip gloss lipstick collection. These are also from Amazon. This is almost all of them are Chanel lip glosses and I adore Chanel. These ones, a lot of them actually were limited edition, which is why I have so, so many of them because you can't even get them anymore. And when I know something's limited edition, I stockpile. I am like a squirrel that just stockpiles peanuts. I stockpile Chanel lip glosses. It's really bad. Well, I do that with everything, not just Chanel lip glosses. Then this baby is mainly tart because I love these tart lippies so, so much. It's not even funny. And then I have a couple of the NARS lippies back here too. And then there's just a couple of randoms that I don't even know how they got back here. There's some Sephora's that aren't even opened. So this is just like randoms. Same with the next one. Then this one is a total random of like brands. I have like the TARDIS lip paints. I have a whole bunch of the NYX. Cosmic Metals, that's what all of these are. I have some of the Too Faced Melted Mats. Luby wants to play and nobody wants to play with him. Uh, I've got all of these gold tone that you see are the Milani Amore Metallics. I don't know what this one is. I just know that it is cruelty free. Then I have ColourPop Lippies, Sephora Lip Glosses, and that it's just it for this one. Then this baby is full of my Dior glosses. I have a NARS. I have more of my NYX Cosmic Metals. I have some Urban Decay. The Big Bang is my favorite. Just a random NARS lip gloss. This is a by Terry, the Click Expert Click Stick. Then just random flower beauty stuff. I have more Dior in the back. Random Dolce & Cabana. I got Givenchy. Dior Kiss. Guerlain. I'm not sure what this is. Jane Iredale. Oh, I forgot I had these. These need to come back to my main stand, these Naveen Dominic. These are beautiful. I bought these at IMAT and I totally forgot I even had these. This one is all of my YSL lip glosses and these are also all YSL right back here. This is normally more full because I have so many lip ink, different type of glosses, but uh, my best friend has borrowed them to try them out. So. This is looking a little bit bare because she has 
like almost my entire collection right now. And then the very back is just glosses I don't use anymore. Even though there's some Guerlain in the back, I hold on to them because they're Guerlain. But I need to get rid of like, I don't know, these ones for instance. But Leclerc Paris, like I have no idea. I, I don't even know where I got these from. It's been so long. But these ones are all like, I do reach for these. I reach for like the top. So yes. Buxom, I don't even use. And then I do have this ABH palette. I thought I would be using this so much more and I don't. So this ended up being a bad purchase for me, unfortunately. Maybe I'll just like force myself to use it. I don't even know. <laughs> then this baby I literally bought from Sephora just to have as a decorative piece. It, I waited for it to go on sale half off because it was actually really expensive full price. It is beautiful. Like, I mean, it's so glittery. This is actually a case for the brushes, so it is spectacular. But there was no way I was paying full price for that thing when I was expecting it to be just on display. But at the same price, I didn't want to wreck these kind of brushes because they are so beautiful. But as soon as it went on sale, I bought it immediately. Then this gold box that you see back here is actually a box from um, Crystal Champagne. My parents gave it to me for my law school graduation. My law school graduation was a really big deal for them because I had to overcome like being in an abusive relationship during law school, all of my health issues that were extremely severe. Like there were so many hurdles and I still managed to graduate and I made it on the Dean's list four terms in a row. So they so went above and beyond. So when I'm showing you guys these things, that's why they went so above and beyond. But that's what that box is. And that's why I've kept that box because it is sentimental. So it just stays there as well. And then I've mentioned to you guys a few times my crazy addiction to Louboutin shoes. I have like, I don't know, 45 or 50 pairs of them now. I also have three of their <laughs> nail polishes, which are settling because I won't even use them. I just keep them because they are sexy. Like, look at that. This was the first one that Louboutin released because it is his actual like red, that's how it comes. And it is like his red soul red. So the red is in there, but it is like a sexy ass packaging. Like look at that. So these are really, really pricey, but I'm such a collector that I had to snatch up a couple of these. And then Louboutin also has lipsticks and I have never even used this. It is dusty. I just bought it because I'm a collector. So I picked up one shade and I've left it in its glorious case and it stays in here on display. He has also now released a mascara and an eyeliner and they are like a liquid liner and they are hella expensive, but now I'm like itching to get them because I have like all these other pieces, but I am out of money. So I don't know, I will probably end up with them one day, just not today, but eventually you will see them added to my collection. Now on to my last Cosmo Cube. Oh my goodness, here we go. This beautiful baby, these are all of my Artist Couture. They're like highlights, but they are powders. So these ones have to be wet when you use them as, as highlights. Then I have my couple L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows that are actually really bomb ass eyeshadows from the drugstore. Uh, Morphe pigment, some MAC eyeshadows, NYX, Sephora, Ulta, Sigma. This Bobbi Brown, it was limited edition and is so beautiful. So it has this like beautiful pinkish like sh tone. There's no shimmer in it, but it is just like creamy and buttery and a beautiful highlight. So I love this baby. And then I have this Urban Decay Naked Illuminate, Illuminated 
<laughs> a lot of people didn't like this because, oh, I didn't even realize it came with a brush. I thought it only opened from the top because of the glitter. But this is actually really beautiful, dusted on the shoulders, dusted on the chest, on the collarbone. There's so many reasons that this is an amazing product. It is not good as a highlight, which I don't know if Urban Decay intended it to be a highlight. Now on the back it says for face and body. So I mean for people who love having that glitter highlight, you can use it for your face. You could still use that as an eyeshadow. So it is for the face, but it says for body. And this is so, so beautiful for the body. So I mean it is like the lightest shimmer, but it just gives you like a little pop of like glow. So for summertime, this is gorgeous and I don't understand the negative comments. The next drawer is also another drawer of just random eyeshadows. I have Kat Von D, Urban Decay, Sephora, I even have Victoria's Secret, just a bunch of uh, Too Faced, just a bunch of old type of eyeshadows that I used to collect that I don't even use anymore. Again, because you guys have made me develop such an eyeshadow palette addiction, these don't even get touched, but they are stunning. This drawer is more of a drugstore drawer, I guess, because I have the Maybelline color tattoo, which I still have not put to the test, and I really need to, because these shades look gorgeous. I have like the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and some drugstore, like, uh, oh my goodness, mascaras and primers. Oh my gosh concealers. Guys, I'm so tired. It's not even funny. And then I have a bunch of the NYX, oh my god, jumbo eye pencils. I do have a couple Sephora in here, but for the most part, I have another Maybelline. So this is pretty much my drugstore drawer, even though I do have like so many more drugstore products. I do try to keep them all together. Then this last drawer is the big drawer and it's super heavy and it it's like almost midnight so I can't even hold it anymore. I'm so tired and we're not even like almost done this tour yet so we're just gonna go for some products. So I have some more Makeup Revolution. There's Strobe Highlighter. I still have the broken one. I haven't gone to Ulta to exchange it for a non-broken one because it arrived that way. I have, I love this Physicians Formula blush. Look how cute that is with the hearts. And then my Milani Baked Blush. I love all Milani Baked Blushes. They are fantastic. Then you guys saw all of three of the Makeup Revolution that I have in that battle video that I did. These are fantastic. And they are total dupes for the Bobbi Brown and even for the Physicians Formula strips, they are bomb. I also have the Benefit Dallas blush, and then I have more foundations back here. I have this beautiful Dolce & Gabbana, the Foundation Perfect Luminous Creamy Foundation. These were like limited edition and are discontinued now, and I only have two, and it makes me really sad because these foundations are just, I mean, they're like beautiful to even just keep out on your vanity. So that makes me really sad. And this Josie Marin uh, Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm is an amazing skin primer. I love this one too if I'm having a dry skin day, which rarely happens because I take such good care of my skin. But if I am, this one is such a goodie. And then. Before I discovered Makeup Revolution, I had purchased the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Strips and these ones are hella expensive and Makeup Revolution is, like I said, a complete dupe so don't waste your money on Bobbi Brown even though her products are really good. <laughs> Spend the $7 instead of the $55 or whatever those retail for. All right, we have finally made it to my filming station where I sit. So all of these glosses, liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, the everything in between, foil, the, I mean metallic lips, you name it. What I reach for the most is all right here. I'm obviously not going to pull them all out. 
I will do like dedicated videos like I did for the Touch and Soul. I can do it for my Anastasia so you guys can see like all Anastasia glosses. I keep like some Urban Decay on hand. I keep all my Huda Beauty on hand. All of my Lime Crime uh, Diamond Crushers are on hand. ColourPop. Obviously Lime Crime again down here. Jeffree Star. Like a whole bunch of Jeffree Star. There's more Jeffree Star on the back. There's a bunch of Jouer. There's Touch and Saul. There's Natasha Denona. There's Smashbox. So this is just my like go-to when I'm sitting here and I have to just grab something while I'm filming. These are my stereotypical colors. These random foundations that you see, this is what I put to the test today. And then these are what I'm still gonna put to the test in like upcoming videos. And then these are just random little eye bits that I still have to put to the use as well. And then the Narcissist palette I keep there, otherwise I would never use it. So that is just like hanging out just for fun. And then this Tom Ford is here because one, it's Tom Ford. It is really expensive, so I don't want it hidden in a drawer. And it was so beautiful. I just wore it and did an eye tutorial that I have not posted yet, but it is amazing. And it even has my initials, minus the hyphen Rhodes. Uh, so that stays here. And then this is just so beautiful. I got it from Sephora. I don't use it. It's just for decorative purposes. So it just sits there too. All right, so this is my like filming area. So this is my viewfinder that I'm always like double checking things in to make sure like I don't have lipstick on my teeth or whatever it is because you know that happens to me all the time. And the camera is normally set up right here. So this is like my go-to cosmetics and then whatever palette I choose to work with for the day I grab and it goes right here. But I've been testing out all of these setting sprays and there are more over here and then there's more over there that are just in another place because I've tested them out. So I have a really great setting spray battle video coming your way as well. Now this is just a whole random cluster of oh goodness, but like oh my goodness. I know where everything is, but like this container for instance has my RCMA powder that I bake my contour line with my number seven airbrush away pore minimizing primer. I've got like my Natasha Denona Foundation X. And then more setting sprays, more setting sprays, my Clay de Poe, more setting powders, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, more primers. So there's that first container. The container back here has one of my many Sephora dry clean sprays. Of course, Fix Plus, this is my third bottle. There's another setting spray back here. There are four Jeffree Star Skin Frosts here. And then over here, there are like five. And I'm dying for Manny's to come out. And then here is like my little Custom Z palette, which I have hit pan. That's my Benefit Hula bronzer and then the other shades I like don't even use but I was like suckered in by Jaclyn Hill when I first started watching YouTube last June 2016 she made me buy those but I only use my benefit and then I am obsessed with this Tom Ford bronzing primer it is so good I've got like the random stuff back here like the Sephora tape plus scotch tape and a little pink holder of course the glitter glue I told you guys, or the lit, clear, lit clearly glitter base, more setting sprays, oh my goodness, pencil sharp, or like eyeliner sharpeners, a blush, I mean, it's just random. This is like my go-to eyeliners, this is where I keep like my Marc Jacobs, my Urban Decay, my new favorite Tarte, so all of my eyeliners that I always grab. And these are all for my Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liners. So whenever I want to grab a colored one, those are all together. These are all of my liquid liners that I love, plus a couple of normal liners that are just black or dark chocolate. These are liquid liners that I still have to put to the test for you guys. Uh, I told you that there are so many because I've already tested these. You saw the handful in that other drawer and then these ones are still 
I have to put to the test in the next couple videos. Here is where I keep every shade of my NYX liquid crystal liners because I use those so frequently. Another setting spray. I have a House of Lash glue plus I keep my Anastasia brow gel right on hand here and then my Velour lash adhesive right on hand here. Now I also have the NYX Benefit Brow. This one is a complete dupe for, oh sorry, NYX Benefit, oh my god. The NYX is a complete dupe for the Benefit Brow Gel, but there I have not found a dupe for the Anastasia. There is nothing like the Anastasia. More setting sprays. Then I have the MAC. I love this water. It's a charged water skin hydrating mist. It's just a great little when you need extra hydration. Then Makeup Revolution, all three of their highlights. I also have Makeup Revolution blush palette and the Narcissist. This is the volume two, I think. Yeah, unfiltered volume two blush palette. And then my favorite part, this container is highlighters. Plus I needed a home to keep my new NYX that I just hauled for you guys on hand, so I just shoved those there. But for the most part, aside from that, these are all highlights, like my glow kits. They are shoved in here. So I have those glow kits. I have my new favorite BH Cosmetic ones. The rest, there goes my hairbrush. The rest of my glow kits. I've got like my Lime Crime, Violet Boss. All three of my Kylie ones are jammed in here. I've got Hourglass, the Kat Von D, Tarte, I mean, the Smashbox with Casey Holmes collab, another BH Cosmetics, and then my Natasha Denona Glow is right up front and center. Then this pink container, one of my very best friends gave this to me as a gift and every time I look at this I think of her and it makes me so happy. I keep makeup removing wipes in it but the like best purpose for this honestly is to keep my mirror propped up on here because I need that extra leverage based on how I sit when I'm doing my makeup. So it is so amazing. This gift was perfect. It is pink, it is sparkly, it has a lacquer to it, it has storage, and it was the perfect height to add my mirror to it. So perfect gift from my best friend Emily, but she never has time to watch my videos, so me giving her a shout out probably doesn't, she's never going to hear it, but her parents do watch my videos, so shout out to Emily. I love you. <laughs> now moving on over here, uh, my favorite brand, you guys know this, Elegance. It like sits top shelf all the time. Today I decided to try out the new Foaming Lashes from Colored Rain, so that's why these are on here, but Elegance does not leave my desk. I am obsessed. More highlights, because you guys know I am obsessed with the glow. This, for the most part, is liquid. Obviously more skin frost, because I'm obsessed with Jeffree Star's skin frost. Then I have the two iconic London liquid highlights in here. I have two from Urban Decay, two from Milk. I have four full size from uh, Cover Effects. Then I received a little mini one from Cover Effects. I've got my Marc Jacobs. I love this one. And I haven't had a chance to try out the Cover Effects palette yet, which is a cream and powder duo. So I still have to try this baby out. So that's gonna happen shortly. And then here is all of my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I have recently ordered the last two. So I will have the entire collection that is going to be coming. So I keep all of these on hand because they are the best way to add a pop of glitter. And then because I'm so obsessed with the NYX pigments, I also keep these right on hand along with my beauty blenders and other sponges and then that Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24 karat gold infused beauty oil I was telling you guys about. And then I just received new primers to test out so these are just staying on hand so I can give them a go. And then last but not least is, whoop, more highlights and some blushes. 
I just hauled these beautiful MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes because of Laura. Thank you, Laura. So you guys have seen all three of those. You guys saw me haul the BH Cosmetics Blush, which is so beautiful. I haven't had a chance to try out this Estee Lauder bronzer yet. And then you saw me put to use this tart. This is that rainbow highlight, which is freaking stunning. And then I keep the Milani Luminoso blush on hand because this is perfection when it comes to coral blushes. And then I have a couple other ones like this Tarte blush that, oh, there goes the packaging. That is just a beautiful flush of color. This is Party. No, it's Party. And a NYX one that is also really nice and just a simple flush of color when I'm going ham on highlight and bronzing. So that does it for like what I have to keep top shelf on hand at all times. Now this is my beautifully ridiculous brush collection that I actually use that is not decorative like the other brushes that you guys saw earlier. The ones that are up front I use are like mainly eyes and then I try to keep the face ones on the back so they're like my go-to ones like bronzing, uh, setting powder, dust away baking, you know just that type of thing on the back, contour, blush, and then everything eye related stays up front. These two contain, they're two containers actually because I couldn't fit everything into one. They're also both Cosmo Cube and filled with crystals. Notice the theme, my obsession. And this I actually also found on Amazon as well. I find a lot of really good stuff on Amazon. Now, this is another big section of my palette collection, but before I show you guys that, I completely forgot to show you this, which is not a huge deal, but these are actually the Bobbi Brown eyeshadows that I used to use all the time. I'm not kidding, I only used these two brown shades and a little bit of this gold before YouTube. Pre-YouTube, like literally that's it those three eyeshadows and like nothing else I collected those other eyeshadows but I was like not into doing anything else and now I am a full-blown makeup like addict palette addict everything and then I have the full Pat McGrath metal morphosis where it came with the eyeshadow pigments and the matching cream so I have like his bronze his copper his gold and his silver these are really hard to pull out again this is from Amazon as well and then I threw in the two recent tart ones that you guys saw in that haul too so I just forgot to show you guys that and I wanted to show you and I thought you guys would get a good laugh out of it that this is all I used to use and it's that dirty and you can see I even hit pan on it because that's all I used to use. Alright, so back to the eyeshadow palettes. So we've got this baby, which you guys have already seen. Like I said, I did film part three. It's just not published yet, so you will see all of them. But these ones made part two, so here are all the Juvia's Place. Then I have both of my Velvet 59, some Urban Decay, Flower Beauty, and my Persona. Amazon is so wonderful because this is where I get all of these from. Then I have my Ciate. That's going to fall. This is really difficult, you guys. <laughs> my ABH, the Kylie Peach. The Lorac Pro that I'm not a huge fan of. The Tardis Pro that I love. The New Tarte. The Little Ciate. The Pastel Goth. I mean, you guys have seen this. It's not, I don't need to get into detail because I just did my palette collection. Then you guys have seen all my Viseart palettes. I just like published the Viseart palette collection. And then I have my Huda Beauty and my moon dust. So these, this one stays like top shelf handy for filming because I film like right in front here and the busy arts I need to grab and have access to like at all times. 
Then this is a different kind of palette holder that I just got off of Amazon that I wanted to test out and I do like it. So I have both of my pure, you guys haven't seen this yet, I don't think. I think this is in part three. And then my chrysalis and the city color, so that fits really nicely. And then way down there, I have all my mixing mediums that I have to put to the test and battle out for you guys as well. All of my battle videos are coming for you, I promise. This one's really heavy, you guys. Here's my Violet Boss HG palette. Then these are all of my custom Z palettes, all four of these, which you're gonna have to hold on to for part four. Here's my little Natasha Denona 5 eyeshadow palette. These are the big Morphe palettes that I showed you in part two, I believe. Then I have my long comb. I have my drenched metals from Violet Boss. I had to dig these out. I could not get them out of that palette while, or the container while holding it. I also have my Carity Frost palette and my Cargo one in there as well. And then I didn't pull out when we did the Star palette container. I had the Too Faced collab with Kat Von D and the new Too Faced natural palette as well as my Smoky Nights Estee Lauder and then those three bad boy ones that had like 128 eyeshadow colors in each of the three that I showed you in part two of my eyeshadow palette collection. Those were all in the Natasha Denona Star Palette container, vanity organizer, eyeshadow palette organizer, whatever you wanna call it. But the last thing that you guys are gonna see is my ridiculous eyelash collection. Brace yourselves. Look at my insane eyelash collection. Can you believe that like just four months ago, I did not wear falsies and this drawer is filled to the brim with falsies now. I mean, elegance hands down is my favorite, but then colored rain I'm obsessed with. I have not had a chance to try out my eye lure yet. I mean, I love my like, Violet Boss are so amazing. There's just, oh, Ardell is what helped me get into the eyelash game. So there's so many Ardell lashes in there because that's how I learned how to apply falsies. But just look at the beautifulness and all of this gloriousness. I mean, I don't love velour, but this one has crystal diamonds. So of course I had to get that one but I am just so obsessed. I just, I have an addiction to eyelashes now and wearing falsies all the time. I can't even get over it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was everything that you guys hoped it would be because I know like I have had so, so, so many requests for this video. So I hope that it didn't disappoint any of you, that it like met all of your expectations and hopefully more. But if not, I just, I hope that it made all of you happy. This room makes me so happy. It's makeup, it's fun, it's glittery. There's so much highlight and sparkle and just crystals and everything just pretty and girly and feminine and I love it. So I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. So please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Bye.